It's the show that magicians around the globe don't want you to see. The Masked Magician is back. Out of hiding, daring to expose the world's most highly guarded secrets. You'll find out how they perform amazing appearances. Death-defying escapes. Baffling levitations. Astounding vanishes. Mind-blowing sleight of hand. And impossible illusions. No magician is too famous. No trick too big. No secret too sacred. The magician's code will be broken. On Magic's Biggest Secrets, finally revealed. Featuring the WWE Divas. Tonight, the sexy WWE divas make a dramatic appearance when the magician transforms their pictures into the incredible first ladies of wrestling. Plus, the masked magician pulls back the curtain and exposes the secrets to walking through a giant wall of steel, being sliced in half by a deadly buzzsaw, turning a Bentley into a Lamborghini, Making a soda can float through the air. Vanishing a simple toothpick and an entire string quartet. And making a gorgeous woman disappear right before your very eyes. All that and more right now on Magic's Biggest Secrets Finally Revealed. To start things off tonight, the magician is going to face the razor-sharp surgical steel teeth of this industrial buzzsaw. As he is soon to find out, the saw blade is real and the teeth are incredibly sharp. Ouch. That's going to leave a mark. The magician sets the blade in motion. and commands it to rise to the top of the tower. Remember the old saying, what goes up must come down? So for safety's sake, the blade stops before the girls walk underneath. The assistants have wheeled a large coffin-like box beneath the blade. Let's hope this doesn't become the magician's final resting place. The lid is raised and he steps inside, taking a moment to get himself comfortable in this very uncomfortable situation. This is probably a good time to remind you not to attempt this. The magician may be giving away the secrets, but he's a trained professional. The front of the box lowered, we can see that he's held in place by a wide steel band and handcuffs. He's not going anywhere. From the time the blade begins its descent, our magician has only 30 seconds to escape. First, he's got to contend with the handcuffs. Shouldn't be too tricky. Only 20 seconds left. This isn't going well. The assistants are under strict orders not to stop the blade, but will they obey? The blade is now just inches away. Will he escape in time? Nope, guess not. Well, this is a first, and we've still got an hour's worth of tricks to expose. Too bad he didn't save this trick for his big finish. Could have killed two birds with one stone. Or one giant blade. Looks like the masked man has finally met his end. But I think we should see some proof that he's really cut in half. On cue, the girls separate the box. So long, magician. 
It was nice knowing you. The danger in this illusion is about as authentic as it gets, complete with a very real, very sharp industrial saw. And the handcuffs? Well, they're real too. You can see that there is no way to escape this death trap, not within 30 seconds. And that's really the magician strapped to the table. So is the magician really being sliced in half by the razor sharp teeth of the giant saw? No. He still has more secrets to expose. Starting with this one. The first secret, of course, is in the box the girls wheel onto the stage. When we see him get into the box and supposedly lie down, he's actually slipping his legs down into a secret compartment. The table legs are hollow and large enough to fit a person, or half of one. As you can see from the back, there is plenty of room to slide his legs inside the compartment with the help of some handy steps, like the rungs of a ladder. His upper body remains visible on the table. So what about the other side? We saw his whole body on the table. The legs look real. The secret here is that a body double has climbed into the box before the illusion began. His legs stay on the table, while the rest of his body hangs upside down in another secret compartment. The double's legs are the ones we see secured by the stocks. The magician is in the front half, the double is in the back, and that steel band will cover the gap. With the body double in place before the illusion begins, the audience has no idea they're about to be duped. But how did two men make the illusion of one body so convincing? When the steel bands are lifted away, we can see the space between them. When the bands are in place, they cover the gap. The audience has no idea they aren't looking at the magician. But that is a real saw blade, and it is the magician's shirt being torn from his body. There is real danger here. So to ensure the magician's safety, there is a gap between the two halves of the table, allowing room for the saw as it is lowered. Wooden partitions on each side protect the men from harm. But when the two sides of the table are pulled apart, it looks as though the magician has been sliced in two. Now, you know how it's done. Here's a simple trick with an ordinary wooden toothpick that will make you the life of the party. The magician displays the toothpick to show that it hasn't been tampered with. He holds it in plain view and makes a few magical waves with his hand. Poof! The wooden pick is gone. Vanished without so much as a hint of sawdust left. But where did it go? So how did the magician make the toothpick vanish? The secret is simple and very deceptive. It all comes down to this tiny square of tape. The tape and the toothpick are all you'll need to pull this off and amaze your friends. The magician places the toothpick on the piece of tape and slightly bends the tape around it, but not all the way. The tape attaches to the back of his thumb. Without the glove, it would go right on the thumbnail. Notice that the toothpick points backward when his thumb is extended. This is the key to the trick. The magician carefully removes the pick, leaving the tape on his thumb. The slight bend in the tape forms a sticky pocket for the toothpick. To make it vanish, all he does is open his hands and the toothpick is hidden from view, stuck to the back side of his thumb. Here we see the magician place the toothpick into the pocket in the tape. This action is normally concealed by the fingers of his right hand. Now, he'll slowly open his hand so you can see the movement of the pick. There it is, stuck along the back side of his thumb. From the front, you can't see a thing. Vanishing a toothpick 
It's a trick you can nail every time. Up next, the secret to the classic cut and restored rope. And find out where a beautiful girl really goes when she disappears without a trace. And later, a Bentley turns into a Lamborghini. And the WWE Divas make a surprise appearance. Plus, the magician shows you how to walk through a great wall of steel. When magic's biggest secrets finally revealed, returns. Here the magician has one of magic's most popular impromptu tricks. All he needs to baffle his audience this time is a length of rope, which he proves to be strong and unprepared, and some scissors. They'll make their appearance in a minute. He gathers the rope to find the exact center, then makes a loop and holds it in his hand. Time for the scissors. Told you they were part of this trick. Using the scissors, the magician cuts through the center of the rope. Eventually, there's no camera trick involved. That's definitely a cut piece of rope. He twists the cut ends, gives them a wave, and magically the rope is back in one piece. The tricky mass man has done it again. So how did the magician cut the rope in two right before our eyes? and then restore it to one solid piece. The simple answer is, he didn't really cut the rope at all. Here are the secrets. Concealed in the magician's hand at the start of the trick is a small piece of identical rope gathered into a loop. This is the rope that gets cut by the scissors. The magician is careful never to let this piece of rope be seen by the audience. When he places the long rope in his hand, he pulls the short loop up and above his fingertips. From this angle, you can see him pull his sleight of hand. The long rope is held by his thumb, while the short loop is visible above the top of his hand. He takes the scissors and cuts straight through the short loop. When he separates the pieces, it appears the long rope has been sliced in two. Pretty sneaky, if you ask me. All that's left to do is twist the short cut pieces out of the way and tuck them into his fist. He carefully conceals them as he slides the long rope through. And no one bothers to look in his closed fist. And that's how he creates the illusion of restoring a rope by magic. And now, the magician will perform another classic illusion. One of the most famous in all of magic. He displays an ornate chair that's perched atop a platform. He walks around the chair to make sure we get a good look at it. The magician then calls in one of his beautiful assistants so we can get a good look at her. This guy's got it made. Ever the gentleman, he helps her step up onto the platform where she takes her position in the chair just like a beauty queen on her throne. Two more assistants enter with a large sheet. I think we've seen enough of the magician to know that something magical happens when he gets his girls under the sheets. The assistants raise the sheet for a moment. There's the girl still in the chair. He can't resist seeing her one last time. I don't blame him. The sheet goes back up 